To live means to experience many things here on earth. We see the beauty of nature, we read words, we hear voices and music, we feel warmth and cold, we smell and taste food. We call life experience as good times, hard times, bad times, or mundane. All of this come to us through our interpretation and response. We see and hear something, then we feel inspired and encouraged to do or create something. We can also see and hear something, then we feel afraid and not doing anything. Both are parts of life, parts of being a human. Every interpretation and response will be stored inside our mind throughout our life. And our mind has a tendency to remember a certain pattern and repeat it over and over again. This means that all of us have our own pattern of interpretation and respond about things that happen in life or about life itself. For example, if you ever once facing difficulty and the environment or people around you are loving, supportive, and encouraging you to be perseverance, you will be able to persevere going through that condition. And the next time you are facing different problem, your mind will direct you to the same interpretation and respond. The difficulty needs to be handled with perseverance. Even though this time maybe there is no people around you, but your mind already recorded that for you. And our mind can record countless of interpretation and respond for all cases that ever happen in your life, good or bad. Good interpretation and response will build you a healthy habits, while the bad ones will lead you to trauma or dysfunctions. Most of us haven't aware of our own pattern and we've been just going through life interpreting all moments and giving the same default response that already recorded in our mind over and over again. And we ask ourselves why we struggle our whole life, we don't even know why. So, what does all of this have to do with levitation? Levitating is an act of rising against the gravity and floating in the air without any physical support. We can use this concept of levitation to learn about ourselves. First, we need to rising against the gravity. This means to stop for a while and take time to pay attention to how our mind function this whole time. How we think, how we interpret and respond to various situations in life. Next, we can floating in the air. Once we are rising against the gravity, we need to stay there and floating. This means we cannot go back to our old way. Stay floating is hard because we have this default system that has been ingrained so deep in our mind for a very long time. 
It's truly like a walk against the gravity. Here is a couple of lessons that we can learn while we are levitating. The height. Being at a certain height help us to raise our awareness. Just like when we are on a plane, on a mountain, or on a high building, we become more aware of all the subtle things around us. We will notice things that we didn't even notice when we are on the ground. The same thing happens when we are levitating mentally. We create space between our busy life and crowded mind. It's like pressing the pause button and observe it from afar, so we have enough distance from our default system. The height and the space allow us to see what's really going on around and inside of ourselves. The Sensations The air flows faster and the wind blows stronger at higher place. The fresh air sharpens our senses. Suddenly, we can see further, hear a sound in the distance. The sun rays feel more intense on our skin. All these heightened sensations feel like an out-of-body experience. Not every day we can feel all these wonderful sensations. Most of the times when we felt something in our daily life, we just let it pass or ignore it because we didn't even have time to be able to feel it. And when it comes to experience difficult moments in life, because we know life has its own ups and downs for everyone, the sensations that we would feel are maybe sadness, anger, anxiety, or frustration. Because we are so used to not feel anything due to our super busy daily life, we will reject those negative emotions unconsciously. That will do no good to ourselves on the long run. Life will be just rush and go all the time. This will create a mental state that we already know, burnout. So here where our levitating practice come in handy. Just like being in a high place where our senses will get heightened, Taking time to stop from our daily life makes our inner self feels like levitating. Here in my illustration, the girl is levitating in a meditation posture, meaning this levitation needs to be done in quietness. We do need to be quiet and alone with ourselves once in a while occasionally. During levitation, we will be fully awake and able to experience every sensation with all of our senses. We can sit and feel all the emotions we have, from happiness, neutral, or sadness. If we take time to feel all those emotions that arise without overreacting or suppressing it, soon we will realize that emotions will eventually leave us. Emotions come and go. If we treat them right, those emotions will not overwhelm us. For example, when we feel fear, we used to react to that fear and we will do everything to avoid whatever it is that we fear doesn't happen. We are controlled by the fear. But through levitation, we learn to feel fear and just feel it without being reactive. It's just an emotion anyway. We learn to be aware of our own pattern and stop being reactive.
mentions. The girl in my drawing here is levitating in a temple, but all the temple structures are detached and floating around further away from each other. You can imagine it like some scene from Doctor Strange movie. All structures of the buildings and the whole city are dislocated in a fantastic way your mind could ever imagine. When we focus to our inner self while we are levitating, the world around us seems being put away from us. The dimensions of everything around us become blurry, dreamy, and feels like moving around. There is no exact height, width, and depth anymore. This new perspective teaches us two things. First, everything can and will change. Change is inevitable in this world. Second, despite of rapid change around us, we can always find anchor when we look within ourselves. The natural flow of nature is always changing. Nothing ever stands truly still. If we are so used to let our mind being dragged and put into many different directions of the changing dimensions around us, we can change that too. It is by creating our own gravity by levitating. We can train our mind to be positioned where we want it to be positioned and not to be moved away by the dimensions. We can choose to expand or narrow our awareness according to needs. We can zoom in on something that will help us to thrive and zoom so far out from something that was not too helping. The ability to adjust our awareness is the foundation to be able to face any change and challenge in life. By doing this exercise, we will end up filled with gratitude and appreciation for life itself. We are human beings are designed so unique and customized. We can create anything with our mind. We can create pattern that will affect our whole life. And we can also change that pattern adjusting it over and over again. Let's take time to embrace our uniqueness, accept all the parts of ourselves, the ones we like and the ones we don't like. Only after we accept all parts of ourselves, then we are able to change and grow, to experience life to the fullest. Remember, whenever you face hardship and challenge in life and you need some perspective shift, just leave it. Thank you.